Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a fairy lantern. This fairy lantern has an on and off switch and it makes a magical fairy sound when you move it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. To start off, you'll need a jar with the lid, a tea light, a fairy printable with some scissors, some brushes, gray and copper paint, some glow in the dark paint, a pen or marker. For the rustic effect, you'll need a stick with a piece of plastic bag, for the handle, you'll need some metal wire with pliers. You'll also need some cardboard with a foam sheet and a tiny bit of tape. A glue gun with some moss and greenery. For the magic fairy sound, you'll need some twine with a glass vial and a key. And last but not least, you'll need a drill. To begin, you'll need to attach your lid to your jar and drill a hole big enough for your on and off switch. This doesn't need to be perfect because it won't be visible. Then, use your glue gun to glue on your tea light and add additional glue to cover any sharp edges. Following that, use your pen to trace a circle out of the cardboard and cut it out. Cut out your fairy printable and attach it with some tape to your foam sheet. Then neatly cut out your fairy again, this time making one out of the foam sheet. Take your cardboard circle and hot glue some moss and greenery onto it. Then add a stand for your fairy and glue her to one side of the moss circle. Okay, now take your brush and apply a thin and even coat of glow-in-the-dark paint on the inside of your jar. Try and keep the brush strokes neat. Then you'll need to add some copper paint to your gray paint. Mix it a little and start making your antiquing brush using the stick and a piece of plastic bag. To do that, you'll need to apply hot glue around the stick and wrap the plastic bag around it. Then you'll need to dip your plastic brush into your gray paint and dab most of it off onto another paper. We only need the tiniest bit to make this work. Too much and it will make the jar look dirty, not rustic. Once you've dabbed most of the paint off, apply it on the inside of the jar around the top and bottom of the jar, avoiding the middle. Then take your fairy and insert her into the jar. Take your wire and cut up enough to make a handle. Secure your wire on both ends and apply greenery with your glue gun. Remember, this is a fairy project, so the tiniest amount of detail matters. A little greenery goes a long way. To attach your key and glass vial, remove your handle and wrap it with twine. Then attach your key and glass vial with some twine and glue. I added a little bit of glitter to my vial. And that's it! Let's see how it looks! Video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like my DIYs, don't forget to subscribe down below.